glory be to God forever and forever. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Fellow believers, you are all welcome in the name of Jesus. I have something today small I want to share with you. Let me go first in one scripture in the book of 1 Corinthians 5 verse 7. It says, Push out therefore the old leaven that you may be a new lump as even as you are unleavened. For even Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Even Christ, our Passover. Today, I want to share with you something small that I had a dream yesterday. I was with uh, some two ladies, some two women, and then I was telling them about the blood of Jesus. I like to talk a lot about the blood of Jesus. And then the, the lady did not understand me. She started to tell me, oh yeah, that is why in my family, we do a lot of, we kill a lot of goats and we kill a lot of lamb and uh, a lot of, um, a lot of lamb. And uh, he said that we use the blood for cleansing. We use the blood for, for our forgiveness of our sin. <laughs> so they do a lot of sacrifice, just like idol worshippers, because she is like an idol worshipper. So he said the father do a lot of sacrifice, killing animals and all that is for the forgiveness of their sins. So I turned and told her, I said to her, I said, the blood of goats and calf cannot take away sin. Then I told her, I said, those was just types and shadow that was written in the old covenant that they used to put, uh, kill, uh, even the book of Exodus 12 was talking how God said that they should go and kill a lamb, a Passover lamb and use the blood and put it on their doorpost. So when the spirit of death see that blood on their doorpost, it will pass over the, the camp of Israel. So uh, I was telling her that those was just types and shadow. Then one of the other girls that was sitting next to me answered and said, yeah, what is type? and shadow so that's why i want to talk today what is types and shadow so she gave, asked me that question what is types and shadow so god made me now to reveal to her what is type and shadow so i stood up in that vision i stood up it was as if it was like a sundown like sun was going down so i stand up i start to walk now i start to tell her i said look as i'm walking you will see my shadow and you will see me but that shadow is not me I say I am a I say that shadow is not me because this is the real me here and that is just a shadow. So that's what I was explaining to her. I said that I show her that my shadow as I was walking to her. Then I was telling her I am then I was telling her I am a type of a woman. So type means type of a woman. So Jesus was a type of a lamb, but he is not the, the like a lamb or goat that you go to kill or something. It was a type and shadow. It was just pointing to you, Jesus Christ, the lamb of God, because the Bible says Jesus Christ is the lamb of God who take away the sin of the world. That's why John the Baptist, when he saw Jesus, the first time he said, behold, the lamb of God will take away the sin of the world. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I was telling her, I said, you see my shadow on the floor? Can you see it? She said, yes. I said, is that me? She said, no. I said, this is me here, but that is just my shadow. So that is what it means, types and shadows. So I that uh, thing is written in the scripture. If you go to the book of Colossians, Colossians, let's go to Colossians together. Colossians um, 2. Colossians 2. The Bible says here in verse 16, it says, let no man then judge you in meat or drink or all in respect of holy days or Sabbath day or new moon or uh, any uh, holidays, which were all shadows of things to come. But the body is of Christ. They were just types and shadows. All the Sabbath day, the new moon, the, 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 the all those things that were showing in the old covenant was all types of shadow. You even see one uh, situation where um, uh, God told Moses to uh, take a brazen serpent and put it on a pole and put it when the children of Israel, the snakes were biting them in the wilderness. If they look on that pole, they will be they will be safe and they will be healed. It was a type and shadow showing about Jesus Christ. It is a kind of synonym. It is a kind of uh, word. I don't know how they call that word. But that's that's a serpent 
that was on that pole was Jesus Christ becoming a sin and hanging on the cross is a type. It's just a type and shadow, but it was not the real thing. So Jesus Christ, now the real Jesus Christ, the Son of God, went to the cross and died for the sin of the human race. So if serpents or demons are biting you or any sin is disturbing you, you look on the cross, the Bible says, you shall be saved and you shall be here so it was all types and shadow so there are many types and shadow in the bible you will see so many things that were types and shadow just pointing to jesus christ the real son of god who went to the cross the bible called jesus christ the lamb of god amen that he is the lamb of god who will take away the sin of the world so those were types and shadows so that girl was talking about his father doing idol worship killing goats and killing lamb i was telling her as i read the book of uh, hebrews he's saying that the, the without shedding of blood there is no remission of sin but it's not the blood of bulls and calf and goats all those things and they cannot remain sin because <laughs> hebrews 9 was talking about if you read the book of hebrews 9 hebrews 9 says here that Hebrews 9, 12. He said, neither by the blood of goats and calf, but by, by the blood, by, by his own blood, he entered in once into the holy place, having obtained for us eternal redemption. For the blood of bulls and goats and the arches of Hephaim, sprinkling the unclean sanctifying and purifying of the flesh how much more shall the blood of christ so god the god this scripture is making a comparison for the old testament how they used to use the blood of goats and calf and all those things and, and it's comparing with the blood of jesus christ if i was talking about jesus christ blood is precious that we are not redeemed with silver and gold we are not redeemed with this blood of goats and calf those were just types and shadows it was just for for forgiveness so it cannot remain sin so cannot push your conscience see what he says here say how much more shall the blood of christ who through his own internal spirit offer himself uh, without spot unto god push your conscience from every dead world so that you can save the living god so now the bible says here in the book of hebrews 10 that if there is anything now to do there is no more you don't go kill animals again there's no more sacrifices again for killing animals and all those things the blood of jesus christ is now enough the blood of jesus the blood has been shed those type, those were just types and shadow pointing to jesus that jesus will go to the cross and share his blood for the human race so now that they don't kill you don't kill animal again you don't go and kill animal to be like you want to do all those things are pagan worship if you are killing animal and say oh you are using the blood for this and you are using all this is idol worship you cannot do that anymore there is no more shedding of blood again jesus blood has been shed once and for all he is our passover sacrifice his blood is shed for the remission of sin now we overcome the devil by the blood of the lamb and by the words of our testimony we love not our life even unto death so jesus christ is the lamb of god if you read the book of uh, Re revelation 5 he's saying that they, they saw a lamb that was slain amen for the remission of sin so jesus is that lamb the lamb of god that take away the sin of the world and this lamb is without blemish and without spot so god made his son to be seen for us who knew nothing so that we should be made now the righteousness of god in him in christ jesus so that's what i wanted to share with you this small short video in this uh, uh this thing today this um this uh, uh prophetic uh, vision that i saw this prophetic dream so i wanted to share with you amen that types and shadow just means things that god was showing in the old covenant that was pointing to, to the real jesus christ that will go to the cross so they, they called the uh, john the baptist when he saw jesus he said behold the lamb of god will take away the sin of the world the bible called jesus christ that the passover lamb so he's our passover lamb because in the book of exodus he was talking about that passover that's why the jewish people they do still celebrate the passover so the passover it's about killing a lamb, putting the blood 
on the doorpost, which was types and shadow, where now the real thing, the real Jesus already came 2,000 years ago and went to the cross and died for the whole human race, shed his blood on the cross of Calvary. You will see in the Old Covenant, they say, oh, you said lamb without blemish, without spot. Yes, Jesus Christ is without blemish, without spot. That means without sin, he's born of the Virgin Mary. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the only Son of God, which without sin, Amen. He came to redeem us from the hand of the enemy, from the sin of Adam, the first man who committed sin. They called Jesus Christ, now the second Adam. He is the one without sin, without blemish, born of the Virgin Mary. He is the only person without sin. All have sinned and come short to the glory of God. Amen. In Jesus' name. So God bless you. So types and shadow was just uh, things that... Uh, were showing in the old covenant that was pointing to jesus christ and now the real jesus christ already came and went to the cross his types and shadow just means things that are just it resemble it is just a kind of resemblance you know types and shadow is just a kind of resemblance amen in the name of the lord jesus christ jesus christ is the son of god the lamb of god who take away the sin of the world amen in the name of the lord jesus christ glory be to god god bless you have a nice week a nice weekend and in the name of the lord jesus christ shalom 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 put the whole armor of god fight the good fight of faith lay hold of eternal life in the name of the lord jesus christ god bless every one of you thank you all my subscribers in jesus name if you are new here subscribe down below god bless you for subscribing in the name of jesus shalom shalom thank you god bless you bye